старинная забава. Поиграй мышцами. Поехали. Присылайте, что Counting down to the 1st of April with a very important message in English now because this message is also meant to be heard by my legal team and even by the court itself. Uh, in this message I will explain why the hearing on the 1st of April will be entirely illegitimate and cannot take place for this compelling reason, and this is absolutely um, important, I already told it, the court forced a lawyer upon me against my will. And this is uh, a clear breach of um, many um, international treaties and uh, human rights conventions. Uh, every uh, legal expert uh, agrees with this, and this cannot and this will not stand. So uh, this is completely devastating for the Belfast courts. I um, undertook the following activities to show that I um, uh, do not uh, agree with the corrupt lawyer that was uh, appointed not by myself but by the Northern Irish uh, authorities. Uh, one, I launched a complaint against this lawyer um, with the Bar Council. Um, the second thing is, of course, that there was a court case on the 4th of March in which I made a request to have this lawyer replaced by an honest lawyer, and this was declined, which was a completely illegal decision again. And the third activity I did was to write a letter to Mr. Stephen Fowler, QC, which is a very high person uh, there in the courts, maybe even the president, to complain uh, against this uh, decision of the court to block the replacement of my lawyer. And I did this on the advice of the lawyer that I wanted to represent me, the honest one. So this is the situation, and when you add this all up, there is no other conclusion possible than that the court forfeited the right to educate the case. The case has to be thrown out. This is what I will start to argue um, the 1st of April, and I think nobody can deny that it is a legitimate claim. During the latest hearing, which was the 4th of March, the uh, corrupt lawyer Madden again uh, showed uh, what he is up to when he gave, without my permission and without my knowledge, the judge information that I refused uh, to see the cardiologist again um, to make a new report about my heart condition because I said, well, there is already one report, which is a 100% a clear report that I cannot be in jail. Why don't we need another report? That there's absolutely no need for that. It is a waste of energy. But so I refused to see it. But uh, Mr. Madden uh, gave this information to the court and then the court held this against me. They said I was a very bad person because I refused to see the cardiologist and that was one of the reasons why they refused to let me leave jail. So you can see how things play out that now my heart condition is used against me. Yeah, that's how it plays out. It's used against me. And this is all um, the consequence of this um, Mr. Madden. Um, and uh, my barrister, if he accepts this state of affairs, so if my barrister wants to continue with the trial, even in the situation that I am, uh, have to work with a lawyer against my will that was forced upon me, then of course I have to fire my barrister too. And then we have a really very, very uh, difficult state of affairs in which the trial cannot uh, go on anyway because then I uh, am completely devoid of any legal representation. And what is the lesson of this? This is exactly what happens when you try to solve a political problem by legal means.
it just doesn't work. The case is completely corrupt, and and, and, and now you can see what happens. Uh, it just collapses even before it began. So this is all maybe good news, although it is of course also very bad news, because it shows how deep we are in trouble in this world and what a corrupt situation it is. Uh, and apart from all this, of course, uh, apart from uh, the impossibility to um, to continue with the trial while I have this uh, lawyer that I don't want forced upon me, is of course also the situation that the show that the court itself shows itself not independent and impartial in my case because they treat me like a dog or uh, like an ant even. So I will be fighting tooth and nail. Uh, notwithstanding that everything, I still implore everybody to send the information of the baby Lisa, the VPRO Argos broadcast, as I said yesterday, to Mr. Madden, because I have to work with him uh, to get access to my uh, barrister. That's the, that, that's the way how it is organized here. So please, um, uh, send this link to Michael Madden there of Madden and Finn Ukraine that he uh, cannot deny that he received it. But maybe it's not even necessary to bring the baby Lisa situation in play when the case is thrown out for the reasons I just um, let out. So um, my defense gets stronger and stronger. And uh, I hope, please, everybody keep on sending the baby Lisa situation there to Mr. Madden and also what I, what I explained yesterday to my barrister, Sean Devine, there in Belfast, Sean, S-A-E-N, Devine. Um, well, this is the big fight uh, and um, tomorrow I hope again to do an audio in Dutch, uh, maybe to tell more about the normal news again, although of course I will keep on uh, preparing for the big day, the big fool's day, the 1st of April. I pray for everybody, especially for Joost, Wouter, and the mother of Lisa, and of course also for Lisa herself, and all the victims of this horrible government in the Netherlands, and everywhere in the world, the victims of the deep state. Thank you very much, and my special thanks again for Rob and everybody who carries all his warm heart to me. Thank you very much.